Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss about outlier detection with local outlier factor. Okay, so earlier in my previous video, I have already discussed several techniques to detect outliers, right? Like for example, one dimensional data set on a particular column, if you want to detect outlier, how to do that. For multi-dimensional data set, how to detect outliers using isolation forest, using Gaussian distribution, different techniques I have covered, right? So you should have a clear idea at least on those techniques before moving ahead, okay? So I'll be providing all the prerequisite links in the description box. You can go through that and explore more about outlier detection technique, which is one of the most important step in the data pre-processing stage in any data science or machine learning project life cycle. Okay, right. So let's see how this local outlier factor LOF helps to detect outliers. Okay. So this also an unsupervised machine learning algorithm like isolation forest or Gaussian distribution. It no need any labels that okay in the training set these are outliers, these are non-outliers, and then it will, it will be performing on test set. No, it's not like that. It is unsupervised machine learning algorithm. It can detect the outliers for that training data set which have no labels also. Okay, right. So let's try to see how this works. Okay. So the local outlier factor or LOF algorithm is an unsupervised anomaly detection method which computes the local density deviation of a given point. Very important term here, okay? Local density deviation of a given point with respect to its neighbors, okay? So the local outlier factor is an unsupervised an algorithm. Okay, we understood this is used for anomaly detection. That is also fine. How it works? It basically try to understand the difference in between density of a point with respect to its neighbors. Okay, and how basically it works? Let me now explain with pictorial diagram. So if you consider this particular data set which is drawn in two dimensional. Okay, there this this may be one input feature and this might be another input feature. Okay. Now here you can easily understand there are two major cluster. One is basically this side one cluster is formed which is having comparatively lower density and here highly concentrated one cluster is there and this particular data point and this particular data point appear to be outlier as part of visualization right. So C1 is first cluster, C2 is second cluster, O2 is indicating outlier 2, O1 is indicating outlier 1. Now how we are telling these are outliers let us try to understand it okay. The LOF says the density should be less for outliers. It is obvious, right? Outliers are something which is having quite different pattern with respect to other data points, right? That's what we are seeing in these two data points also. So how we are comparing? It basically compute the local density deviation of a given point with respect to its neighbors. Okay, try to understand now. Suppose I am telling that for any data point in local outlier factor calculation, we will be considering five neighbors okay so you have to enter with respect to how many neighbors you want to compare the density that you have to enter in the algorithm so suppose with respect to five neighbors we want to compare the de density deviation now if you consider this particular point o2 okay which is outlier or not we want to detect right now what we will do we will first choose five nearest data point okay and obviously five nearest data point will be belonging to this particular cluster c2 only because o2 is very close to c2 right now, what the local outlier factor algorithm will try to do, that is, for O2, it will try to understand, okay, this is the density, okay, maybe density is X, suppose, okay, and then, for the five nearest neighbors, okay, what is the density? So, if you consider this particular data point, which is neighbor of O2, and it is belonging to C2 cluster, for it, the density is quite high, right? And for O2, density is less. Okay. So basically, try to understand how I am comparing. The comparison is density of a given point with respect to density of its nearest point. Okay. So if these two densities are very much different, then we will understand, okay, first point can be one outlier, right? Suppose uh, for O2, the density is X, but for the nearest neighbor, which is located here, the density will be very high, suppose y, and x is very, very lesser than y, then we can say that, okay, for this particular data point, the density is very less compared to its neighbors, that means there is a possibility that this particular data point can be one outlier, and that's how we are concluding O2 can be one outlier. Same like that way, suppose you can consider for O1, suppose I am passing in the local outlier factor, the value is 5, then it will try to 
uh, get the nearest five data points. Maybe for O1, this is the nearest cluster, and suppose five data points. I am just randomly showing, not to scale. Okay. Now, what the local outlier factor algorithm will try to do? It will basically try to understand. Okay, for O1, what is the density, and for five nearest neighbors, okay, what is the density? Obviously, for its nearest neighbor points, which are basically belonging to the C1 cluster, they will be having much higher density with respect to density of O1 at least, right? We can understand very easily from this picture itself. That way, we can say as the density difference is very high, then O1 can be one outlier. Okay, that is this is the main central concept. Density of O2 is very very less than density of neighbors of O2. Then we are concluding O2 can be one outlier. Similarly, like that, based on same concept, density of O1 is very very lesser than density of neighbors of O1, which is present in C1 cluster. That way, we are concluding okay, O1 can be one outlier. Okay, right. So this is all about local outlier factor algorithm induction. Now, what you need to give input? What is the hyperparameter for this particular model? The hyperparameter is basically with respect to how much nearest neighbor you want to compare the density to understand the density deviation okay that neighbor number is basically you have to choose wisely based on your business requirement and then you have to detect the outliers okay now let's directly switch to implementation section okay very simple what i have done here so currently as of now for MATLAB implementation of local outlier factor, there is no built in function available. So, I have taken the user defined function, and here you can see the author names. Okay, this particular code only I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. You can use that. So, all I did this function name is LOF. So, I saved this with LOF.m because the function name and the file name should be same to call the function in MATLAB, right? Okay, good. Now, what I will do, I will open a new MATLAB file and I'll be pasting some code okay so here let us try to understand what code I have written so here CLC clear all close all warning of as we generally write and then here I have taken a big data point okay and remember for this particular user defined function to understand the outliers or to detect the outliers you have to give input as matrix okay not table okay Right, where each row will be considered as one single single uh, data point, okay, in multi dimension space, and if, then it will try to understand whether that is outlier or not, like that. Okay, now see here this particular LOF function, whatever we have written, that will return LOF score, okay, local outlier factor score, okay, right, and that how I am calculating. LOF is the function, user defined function, what we have written just now, and then X. X is basically our this data set, which is basically one matrix, and then with respect to how many neighbors we want to compare the density. Okay, maybe by default fellow, I will be keeping 5 for the time being for the demo purpose. And now we got the LOF score. Okay, that is local outlier factor score. Right now, we need to understand that particular score basically telling. That how much uh, deviation of density is there with respect to its neighbors. So once we get the LOF score, now we will try to understand out of those which are outliers. Okay, that way we can understand. Okay, these LOF scores are very much different with respect to others. That means they are having very high density deviation with respect to their neighbors. Then we can detect those as outliers. Okay, so is outlier will return one if they are outlier in the LOF score. Or else return zero if they are not. So first, what I am doing, I am basically draw, drawing all the data points in blue color, which is default color, which are non outliers. That's why complement of MS I am taking. That is MS will be one if they are outlier. MS will be zero if LOF score we are getting for non outlier, right? So here I am complementing so that all the data points for which LOF score we are getting as non outlier, okay, those will be plotted. And then hold on, we are giving, and on top of that, only in red color, we are plotting those data points for which LOF scores are detected as outlier. Simple, that's it, okay? Now let's try to go to implementation section, right? So here I will directly take this. Remember, LOF directly don't give whether 
a data point is outlier or not it will be giving lof score which basically indicate or which basically is a representative of the density deviation of a point with respect to others and then out of that we need to find out uh, out of those values which are outliers okay that way we can say okay these are highly different density data points with respect to its neighbors then that can be outlier right so that's why we have applied here is outlier that is outlier for lof score okay right and then here i'll be going to matlab and then i'll be pasting this code okay now let's run this particular one make sure how many neighbors you want to consider for comparing the deviation of densities that is that is an important parameter okay so if i show you in this figure you will be seeing let it give some time see here how beautifully it is indicating the outliers right so these all red data points are outliers and these blue data points are clustered data okay they are having high similarity obviously some these kind of data points uh, came into picture which should be outlier but our algorithm is not detecting maybe you can play with this particular value and then try to interpret much okay just play with this value right so this particular code i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section if you understood this particular intuition if the video helped you to have a clear idea on this concept then i'll request you to subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and like share and comment on this particular video so this is all for my this video thank you for watching